As the government of Grenada prepares for budget 2023, plans are in train to ensure that every sector is properly represented economically in the revenue of estimates and expenditure due to be presented to the Grenadian public before the end of the year. In this regard, the Ministry of Finance has collaborated with the different ministries to facilitate consultative sessions to gather transformative ideas that can be incorporated into the budget as a means of addressing pressing issues affecting different sectors. The budget consultation for agriculture and fisheries was held at the Deluxe Cinema in Grenville on Wednesday. Why you go thinking in your discussion? about those areas within the agricultural sector, those needs and constraints that are affecting growth and development and employment in the agricultural sector, what the agricultural sector needs to be able to contribute more to income, employment, output, and to increase its contribution to GDP in the economy, which will come to government spending. We also want you to think of those areas where government can also collect some money. So we could have the money to spend back in the economy, in the agricultural sector, and therefore to facilitate that additional growth, income, employment for that particular sector and make that sector resilient and strong. That was Substantive Minister for Agriculture, Honorable Lennox Andrews, as he underscored the importance of formulating ideas that will increase agriculture's contribution to the gross domestic product, which currently stands at 10%. Agriculture and Fisheries Representative in the Senate, Roderick Sinclair, stated that this session was important not only for agriculture, but for the nation. Yeah, yo getting the views involving the views of everyone to chart a way forward for this country. In a time when food security is a big issue, in a time when there are many uncertainties with food prices, these are the issues ahead of us. And as we sit here today to plan, we need to look and see how can we find ways in whatever the challenges are within the sector to produce more of what we want to eat and consume, and how do we preserve them? And I don't want to say I will process them, but how do we preserve them in different farms for not only for export, but for our own internal resilience? The consultation was sectioned off into four groups as a means of getting the best out of every subsector. Farmers, beekeepers, floriculturists formed one group, Poultry, livestock, and butchers formed a second group. Fisher folks, long liners, sea moss producers were a third group, while agro processors formed the fourth. These are some of their contributions. The discussion came up on having a dedicated um, desk or office that will deal with, with, with that issue. Okay, so. Um, Anything related to agro processing, whether it's accessing raw material, whether it's accessing concession, whether it is accessing technical support, um, having that desk um, available, persons will have a clear idea where they should go to access these uh, services. And the group felt that they need to strengthen the legislation dealing with. Um, there should be compensation to farmers when they suffer losses uh, through predialacine, right? Because you lose your crop, um, the farmer is, the, 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 the accused the perpetrator is charged, but you do not receive anything. We need to replace the ice machine, get a four or five ton ice machines, crack ice machines, yes, which will be used to, to provide ice for the, fish, for the fishing industry. Because basically, ice do not improve the quality of fish. What ice does is that it maintains the quality of fish. So we need trained refrigeration technicians. We need spare parts. When it comes for the market aspect, we believe that something must be done to encourage 
greater market access to our livestock and poultry, product, um, poultry products. So I want to suggest that maybe something that could be done is education, educating our people in eating more of our local products. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Aaron Francois, says government wants to make a difference with the upcoming budget, but needs all hands on deck to do so. A lot of the issues that are not clear, they are not clear, they are not clear. And so each one of us, from, from government side, we have our role to, 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 to help with the enabling environment and the support, yeah, a building productive sector. But you too, as, as entrepreneurs, as, as, as a student of the, of the resources, you have your responsibility also. And so let us, let us work together.